I've been through hard times, I seen some bad things, I've been through mad pain, we all the same, it's all good, it's all good, I've been hurt before my people, it's all good. What's up everybody? My name is Alan Reyes, also known as Ivy the Poet, and I'm right here as you tune in to Awakening TV. I grew up on hip hop, you know what I mean? Run DMC, LL Cool J, all the old school cats, and um, I don't know, it's just something that, that we listen to as a kid and we always want to rap, you know, what we hear on the radio. So I probably did my first rap in Watts when I was in elementary school at Wigan Avenue, second grade, you know what I mean? So, but just listening to radio um, as a kid, just inspired me to want to be a rapper. When I was in New Jersey, I used to live in, on the East Coast. Uh, when I was in Jersey, um, a few friends uh, noticed that I was always smiling. And um, they started calling me Irie. So, Irie has a double meaning. It's a Caribbean slang and it means all good. And it also means um, when you're on cloud nine, you know, that high state of mind. I've been through hard times. I've seen some bad things. I've been if you're a rapper, you are a poet. You know what I mean? And you have a responsibility whether you know it, believe it, care or not. Because every rap has a beginning, middle, end, and it has a story that it's telling, and it has a purpose, and it has a message, which is the most important thing. Every song you listen to has a message. They're trying to paint a picture. So if you're a rapper and you're an artist, you're painting the picture and you're giving a message to the listener whether you want to know it or not. So um, as far as this, this bubblegum content that's popping right now, it, it's going to die down soon, you know what I mean? And it's, hip hop is evolving and it might not have to be like widespread as commercial is, but things are changing. You know what I mean? And the youth, they know it. It's not only the commercial stuff they listening to. These these teenagers and these preteens, they know about this underground rap. They online. You know, things are evolving. Things are changing. So I'm not down with that bubblegum popcorn rap. <laughs> it kills me, really. I've been hurt before my people. It's all good. They are the ones who tell you what to like. They are the ones who own the billboards, own the radio stations, TV, it's a big monopoly, you know what I mean? So, I mean, and in certain extents, I fall victim to that as well, but um, the more conscious you are of it, the, the better you are, are able to walk, you know what I mean? So, um, I feel like we can counteract that stuff by, by being independent, taking control of our music without, without dealing with this commercial stuff support the independent artists. Um, for example, David Banner. Check out davidbanner.com. That brother right there, he's leading right now. Check him out and you'll see what I'm talking about. But that's basically how we can counteract this conspiracy because they do have a tight grip on hip hop, which is ours. You know what I mean? So. It's all good. It's all good. It's all life. For me. A lot of us sleepwalk. A lot of us sleepwalk. There's a lot of people still sleepwalk. You know what I mean? So, I mean, once I became conscious, I realized, man, I gotta wake up. And that's a process in itself. Before you, you open your eyes and like stop sleepwalking, you have to realize, wait a minute, I'm sleepwalking. You know, so, um, I've, I've sleptwalked for a lot of my life. You know what I mean? So, the awakening, that phrase alone means, means a lot to me. You know what I mean? So, And I, you know what? My influences are all these whack ass rappers, all this commercial stuff that I've been listening to. That influenced me to want to be a rapper because I feel like I can do better than that. You know what I mean? And I can spit positive content and still sound as fresh as that commercial that's played on the radio. You know what I mean? So, you know what I mean? everybody out there, y'all, y'all influenced me and motivated me to want to um, share my story, spit my raps and poetry. It's so good. I've been hurt before Thank my you. people. <laughs> it's all good. Yo, this is Ivan Cohen, and I want to give a shout out to my son, Jason Reyes. I also want to give a shout out to my homie, Big Sob, Original Autonomous Grunt, Original S Media, and I want to give a shout out to my homeboy, Andre Aron, Awakening TV. Thanks for having me.
listen I had no pot to piss in His pockets filled with riches He thinking tunnel vision I'm thinking bigger picture And when I try to share my plans He ain't try to listen Not driving no Bugatti But still I am somebody Don't live up in them hills But still I pay my bills I'm trying to fix my credit But all I do is